Katie Holmes having a romantic fling with Jamie Foxx who has swept her off her feet and calls her my girl. Katie Holmes and Jamie Foxx have been have been having a romantic fling for the past two years. Only the star's closest confidants have known about the relationship, but now that cat's out of the bag. Katie has been meeting Jamie for clandestine dates at his exclusive 40-acre Los Angeles estate where her every wish is his command, Thus Weekly is reporting. The two sons spend hours together watching movies in his screening room, enjoying dinners whipped up by his personal chef, swimming in the pool, strolling through the avocado orchard, and dancing to music. Fox, 47, who has a reputation as a ladies' man, has totally swept the 36-year-old actress off her feet and put the former Dawson's Creek star above all the others, calling her my girl. They dance and just talk for hours, the source told the publication. Katie loves that he makes her laugh. He does amazing impressions of just about anyone. It's one of his best flirting techniques. Another insider was quoted as saying that Katie and Jamie have a flirty relationship. No strings attached. Another thing Katie loves about Jamie is he's nothing like her ex-husband Tom Cruise, 52. Says the source, Jamie is someone she can trust and have fun with. She's getting everything from Jamie that she didn't get with Tom. When Katie is staying at her place in New York City, they talk and text all the time, the source says. He'll step away and say, sorry, my girl is calling. Katie got the romance rumors swirling after she was spotted looking cozy with Jamie Foxx on a couple of occasions last year. In August 2013, they were seen dancing and jamming to the music on stage at a benefit in the East Hamptons and, according to Us Weekly, had their first hookup later that night. Since then, Katie and Jamie have met for secret and carefree trysts. One of those rendezvous happened in Miami where Jamie was hosting a 2014 New Year's Eve party and again they met in Phoenix. Arizona during Super Bowl weekend, but most of their meetings take place at his abode in LA's Santa Monica Mountains. They have a blast, the mutual friend told us weekly. She knows Jamie will never be a relationship guy, and she doesn't want it from him. The actress, who recently moved into a new Los Angeles home with her 8-year-old daughter Siri, has been seen dropping by Jamie's nearby house often where they spend hours together each occasion, people reported. This is not some intense romance. The source told People. Jamie and Katie are friends and have been for a long time. They are two adults who are attractive and single, and so apparently conclusions will be drawn. The same source added, but contrary to those conclusions, they're not about to run off and make some serious commitment. Katie has remained a free agent since divorcing Tom Cruise in 2012. After Katie and Jamie raised eyebrows by dancing and flirting together at the East Hamptons event the summer of 2013, Jamie brushed aside talk of a romance. He was quoted by Times, Com as saying, In fact, it's quite hilarious because we simply danced at a charity event along with a lot of other people. Katie and Jamie were also seen acting cozy together with arms linked at the Super Bowl party in February of last year. One reason why Jamie might be so mission impossible about the relationship is his friendship and respect for Tom Cruise, with whom he starred in Collateral in 2004. Cruz raped about Fox when his former co-star picked up the MTV Generation Award at the 2013 MTV Movie Awards. I love Jamie. First of all, he's just an amazing human being, just so multi-talented, Tom said. However, Cruz was reportedly not happy when he was told of the couple's relationship early on, according to Us Weekly. Katie has not let Fury in on her little romance and is not ready to introduce Jamie as her boyfriend. She doesn't know if she ever will, a friend told us weekly. Fox has followed suit with his daughters Annalise, 5, and Trin, 21. Their time together is theirs. No kids allowed. According to TMZ, Katie and Tom are not on speaking terms and want nothing to do with each other and communicate on Siri's behalf through intermediaries. Katie is said to be dissatisfied that Tom's involvement with Siri is not enough. However, Cruz has been shooting Mission Impossible 5 in London and now that production has wrapped he intends to come home to LA and see Suri, TMZ reported. In an interview with People last November, Katie expressed her desire to find love again. I'm a very loving person. Of course I'm open to finding love again, she said. Katie, meanwhile, is enjoying the new role on the Showtime series Ray Donovan that is being shot in LA.
The mother of one has been soaking the sunny California weather with her little girl on occasion, as they did during a trip to the shopping mall on Monday. Katie was feeling pretty happy on Wednesday, the day of weekly story about her fling with Fox hit newsstands. She posted a video of her doing a rigorous dance routine with her trainer, captioning it, kicking into Wednesday. Have a great day.